Hit the start. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. We don't need the YouTube running, but, you know, everything else is good to go. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to One Piece D&D uh, Dungeons and Devil Fruits. I am your DM, Orion, and as always, we have Akisu Blackburn uh, being played by Micah. Hey, yo, what up? And Mr. Scrim Bimbus as Snyder. How's it going, bud? Oh, not too bad. Just living and falling. Falling, living. <laughs> well, you can get back up. Perfectly good men don't just fall right out of the sky. <laughs> mm. And... As always, our cheeky rogue, Chibiusa, played by Siana. And T Tonga Wirio, played by Sam. Hello. Uh, how you guys been this past week? It's been some time, you know, since our last session. It has definitely been a time. Mm. I've been sick all week, and then, like, the week before that, I just... Uh, yeah. you know. Time passes alone. But very, very sweet. I forgot my soda across the room. We had a party yesterday. Fucking. Ah, oh, shit. Did anyone end up with a lampshade on their head? That's how you know it's a good party. <laughs> Two people got wait, shot. Wait. Self sabotage, yeah. 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 We fucking used party poppers, but fucking accidentally did it on ourselves. We faced it the wrong way. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh okay. God. <laughs> Rem remind me to go to one of your parties. <laughs> I know. See, when you say party popper, I think of the little string ones, and I'm like, how... How do you get that wrong? But then I remember they're the twisty ones. Yeah, then I remember they're the twist ones. Yeah, just kind of like. How does this work? Hey, hey, tell me, you ever uh, aim one of those uh, jars full of the snakes the wrong way? <laughs> <laughs> no. Whoa. Never seen one of those, actually. Really. Nah, when I was a kid, there was a joke shop in my town, so, like, you could get, like, the joy buzzers, the snakes in a can, the little magician's things, the little thumbs. Oh, no. Yeah, all, all that crazy shit. Alright, so, where last we left off, you guys had managed to get away from the... The giant meeting, uh, unscathed, uh, without a fight, kind of sneak in there, sneak out. Akisu took a shit on a table in a in a certain undisclosed warehouse of uh, illegal goods. About that. She didn't wipe her hands. Uh, she she took uh, some snacks too. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll let people. Uh, Think about what order of operations uh, was involved in all that. But... <laughs> Do they grow up in the woods? There's a... Ah. Uh, th there's a reason. There, there were no leaves around. <laughs> Y'all managed to get back to your ship and uh, move it around uh, to a different spot so that they... So that the zoo pirates couldn't catch on to where you guys were right away and then uh, fix it up a little bit more make it look a little different so hopefully that's a good start it, if it's enough who knows and I believe we ended the session with uh, Darius uh, uh, departing from the party to check on his family and I also remember uh, I I was teaching Rory how to, like, doctor. Yeah, uh, you wanted to teach Rory about uh, medicine, and he got a 
a little bit of a course from you guys on how to use a gun, as every 12-year-old should do on the high seas. <laughs> because every 12-year-old needs a firearm. <laughs> uh, the Blackburn Pirates do endorse uh, children with uh, firearms. We endorse child soldiers. In game, of course. <laughs> In game. Wink's got to survive, too. Wink. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. So, where we last left off, but I, I believe a couple of you want to go with Rory to uh, check back in with his employer. Yes. And I'm also remembering that I left my little, uh, my other set of dice, like, somewhere around the house. So I got my little glowy dice right here. The little light-up ones. The light-up ones? Yeah, I yeah. Like sketch oh, hold on. I don't like the sketches. You like the money. Oh, yeah, because, oh, yeah, like, it. Yeah, see, so they just kind of, yeah. they got LEDs inside them and a charging case. I love that for you. Yeah, it, it's a charging case. I think I need to charge my D20, though. Damn. That's a shame. Well, I haven't charged the charging case in a while, so that's on me. Ah. Uh. First world problems when you have to charge your charger. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> I do it all the time, don't worry. Mm. At any rate, I believe Snyder, you were going with Rory. Uh, who else is? I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, so the rest of you guys were just going to stay with the with the uh, ship. Um, yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put uh, Snyder's uh, thing on the map here. Woohoo! Snyder and Rory. <laughs> And Rory, or friends, hooray! We're gonna have a great day. I, I like how Snyder's just like kind of like a he's kind of middle aged, like you just gotta give him this older voice, but like he has a youthful appearance. I love it, but something, like yeah, it, it's, it's something to do with the oxygen, uh, the, the air content up on the sky Ooh. islands. There, there, there's there's got to be some kind of like a validity to that like you know they're putting thickener in our oxygen <laughs> <laughs> they're putting they're putting thickener in the clouds they, they turn the pirates gay <laughs> turn the pirates into deep voiced middle-aged men <laughs> oh no if only the pirates weren't controlled by Alex D. Jones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, the real greatest enemy. <laughs> it's me. All right. It was the world government. <laughs> it, it was the world government all along. They put all the conspiracies into one century. Why do you echo so much? Oh. Dang, I'm not the only one that hears it. How about I think now? it's all because of the same room. So it, you can pick up off each other's mics. Yeah. But can you hear me though? Uh, yeah. I, I can hear you, yeah. Okay, is it bad? No. Not just okay. now, but like... Uh, hmm. Well, we'll figure things out as we go. Hey, I okay. had an idea. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to use this time. And I want to get into my bladesmithing. And I want to make weapons for GBUs. Okay. Whatever weapons you want. 
so that I can infuse them with the fruit ability. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, some of your abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to... Well, while you're figuring that out, Snyder apparently muted himself. I the... Oh, I see. Okay, Snyder. No, I just call him out like that. <laughs> yes. The, the people need to know. <laughs> All right. People are in the burp. Just can't be right there. Um, can't what? My child is very needy tonight. She does not want to go without her mom. What'd she say? She's... All right. Yeah. What now? I use my devil fruit infusion stuff to um with like like I can I can barely hear you and understand you because like you got this echo on top of everything. You got this echo on top of everything. It, it's weird. What do we do? If you want to, you can come to my desk and ask to share the shit. Hold on. I can use my phone, maybe. Maybe. All right. So, for the meantime, uh, it's some... going to pick up on our mic. Uh, Snyder. You and Rory are uh, going down the, the main street into town. He, he's kind of a got the, his new gun uh, tucked into like a, his waistband. Yeah, yeah, I got, got, got a bit of a, a kind of a, a cocky saunter going on as he's like really kind of proud of himself for this. And he's like, should I? Yeah, yeah. He's, Arm, so shoulders thrown back. He's like, yeah. L little excited. And a as he's walking uh, alongside you, you're you're going up the street. Uh, you, you see just uh, the casual townsfolk in the morning kind of puttering about, doing their business. Uh, kind of people like uh, taking out their garbages yeah. and whatnot. You don't really see much outside in in the way of uh, zoo pirates. Uh, at the moment, you kind of presume that they're still kind of working through the hangovers of the previous night or uh, kind of like sleeping in late a after their party. Yeah. You you do, however, see like the uh, occasional uh, what you would recognize as a Thai man pirate with the, their iconic uh, wrist bow ties and uh, their their long neckties that they uh, just kind of wear with like really what like have a like a suit jacket almost kind of a uh, motif but like really kind of sloppily thrown together Wait, like um, miss button right yeah 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 like uh, the, the button downs are always uh are like some are kind of like uh done right others are just rather stained or disheveled but can you hear me now uh yeah i hear you now sam Go ahead. I don't want to interrupt you. All right. So you, you do see the occasional tie man, and uh, that some of them have like a little top hats with a, a like a bow tie ar around uh, the little uh, the ribbon part. Others have like a bit of a bowler hat thing going on. It, it, it's kind of like a, a and and some just don't have any hats at all. So it's like kind of a mixed bag of things. You, you see them uh, on occasion as you are going through the town, just kind of like going about their business not really uh taking any note of you mm. and let's see here is okay so as you guys are uh going along you, you do find that uh, th this one uh, vendor is just like, ah, hello, sir. Hello. I, I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, would you care for a croissant? 
How are you, young lad? Would you care for a croissant? And he's just got like a, this what? this hideously like super curled in mustache, like pencil thin, but just like massive, like little swirly curls on at both ends. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's What's go. the croissant? Oh, you don't know a croissant. Well, lucky for you, sir. Fresh baked this morning. Fresh, 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 fresh. <laughs> And he kind of like uh, gestures over. He's like, oh, look at these. The a croissant is croissant shaped. And they are buttery and flaky. And he just kind of like takes one and he just like uh, kind of like cracks it a little bit. And you hear like just a little bit of a crisp and you see like little flakes. and kind of like make a mess all over his shirt. And just kind of like flutter uh, down a little bit. My, mar- my mouth starts to water a little bit. And it's like... Ha- ha- how much? Ah, for, for, for fine, sir, like you, 350 berry. Yes, yes. Jesus Christ. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like a little for a, for a big good. Uh, for reference, 350 berry is basically like a about 65 to 70 cents. Oh, okay. So, okay, no. <laughs> I, I rescind my statement. I rescind my statement. I... Shit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you're like thinking of uh, the, like Sky Island currency, which isn't very so you're like running conversion numbers in your head. You're like, oh, that's outrageous. <laughs> it's like, that's so much money. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, just r- imagine Rory <laughs> tugging on my shirt. It's just like, it's like, uh... <laughs> Mr. Snyder, that's actually pretty reasonably priced. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I'll take. I'll take like five. Ah! Excellent! Excellent! You you know a fine croissant when you see one, Mister. And then just like he gives you five. I look back down at Rory. Wait, do you want one too? Uh, He just. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I just wanted to buy one for the crew because these 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 sound amazing. I have like, everybody has to try them. <laughs> it's such a foreign concept. <laughs> They're uh, the flabbergasted, like what the what the hell is this magic? They put a they made like little flaky moons. <laughs> <laughs> Snyder tries bread. bread. <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know if Sky Islanders even have wheat fields, let alone bread. So this this would be a first for Snyder. <laughs> All right, so it was like a, bread is yum. Three fifty two. Three fifty. Ah, chance three fifty. Hey yo. Hmm? Huh? He heard back shots. Tree Back shots. That that is not what I said. That that's a very that's a very different kind of party. All right. So yeah, you, you pay the man, and let's just uh say that's like fifteen hundred. Oh, uh, 1600 berry so quick and quick and easy not not that big a deal yeah not at all and like uh, you just kind of go on your way and a- after you uh ter- reach the end of the block and turn a corner uh he's still kind of like uh just giving like a uh, hope you'll enjoy monsieur <laughs> and just uh, as you turn the corner uh, like you see rory to the side of you just kind of like pull one out of his pocket 
You had one in your pocket the whole time? No, no. Just uh, after you, while you were doing your business, I just grabbed one. Uh, fair. Add an eye to it. <laughs> it's not, he's a poor boy. He needs to eat. <laughs> a- anyway, uh, Mr. Mr. Snyder, w- where did you learn medicine? He just kind of like strikes up a conversation as you guys are walking down the street. Well, look at us go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all traveling at a good pace. So, um, my my squad leader was um a, was also a doctor for our uh, for our village, and. He happened to teach me everything I knew. He, he, I don't know what happened to him, sadly, but I, I'm hoping to get back to him. I'm hoping everybody's all right. And then you come into that house and be like, hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, Rory looks up, she's like, so so you're like uh, some kind of soldier, like, uh, like the Marines, but different I, I i don't i guess it wouldn't necessarily be the marines i mean you're from the sky it's like uh hmm well what would you call it i mean i i am a, i am a shandian that that's that's what we're called we're from the skypea the, the sky islands um huh so how do you stand on clouds like I know that they, they they look all white and stuff when you look up at them, but like some of them look kind of wispy. They're surprisingly dense. Huh. They can weigh quite a lot too. I I've been trapped under a few, and they're they're not <laughs> they're not fun. I feel like you can barely breathe. You say that, I just think like the cover art for like uh, that movie Norbert, <laughs> Norbit or whatever. <laughs> With, like, the skin Norbit? Skin. No, yeah, like this uh, movie. Oh, yeah, the Eddie Murphy. I haven't even thought about that movie in years. Dude, I'm, I'm old. Yeah. I don't know. You use this like free time to work on drafting a multiple. Like, uh, like a common thing. Okay, so. Uh, Let's see. Using the Okay, so you're gonna like uh, try to use that to kind of like craft an item. Make a magic weapon for GB. Okay, so is that gonna be based? Are you using like uh, one of your abilities for that, or is it just like just crafting something outright? So I want to kind of do like. By using my class, um, I specialize in stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I have the proficiency or placementing, uh, stuff like that. Um, hmm. Well, uh, you'll see. I'll have to look at the uh, item crafting stuff on the side, but yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Let me just uh, move a couple of things right here. Okay, okay. So it just comes down to materials and I don't have the building on material. Let's see. 
Right. Um, let me just see here. Gotta pull up a thing. Just put it in the front. That would should be fine. Let me look at that. And so we can the future. Basically, yeah. So I think uh, you'll have to give me a roll. Let me just uh, scroll down to. Uh... Okay, so you want to make a weapon that has like some kind of effect on it? Yes. Okay, and. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so what ingredient uh, were you planning on using to kind of uh, give it a special effect? So, um, didn't, didn't we get some, some something from the, the uh, beer guy? Not just yeah. yeah, we got his grease. Like, like some... I wanted, I wanted to be... Um, Okay, so let's see here. Uh, for crafting that, let's see. Uh, can you get the baby? Can you stop upsetting the baby, Freya, and go to bed? That, yeah, but that might be Freya, but you really... That's really causing a lot of trouble right here, so could you not? This is called being tired. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 anyway. Uh, so that'll be about 50,000. Uh, yeah. So it, you'd need about 50,000 berry worth of uh, materials. And it takes about a week worth of craft time, so you'd be able to, uh, and, and that's a work week, so five days worth of craft time and you'd be set. So this would be day one. And uh, you can just give me like a roll on each day to see how it goes, and that can either facilitate or hinder the progress. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of add your t your tool proficiency with whatever you're using. But what are all right? Um, that's whatever you think would be uh, appropriate for it. Like, uh, like say you're just uh, straight up smithing it. I would allow for either intelligence or dexterity. Uh, in your case, that's charisma. I don't think uh, charisma would necessarily be applicable when it comes to crafting. Hmm. But yeah, uh, either your intelligence mod or your dexterity. And while you're figuring that out, well, I'm going to pop back over to Snyder. So, Snyder, as uh, you and Rory are finishing up your conversation about uh, clouds and stuff, ooh, well, thank you, kid. My 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 baby gave me a dog that. My other kids were arguing about the other day because they were deadly upset because they had two stuffed animals that they had both named Noodles. <laughs> yeah, you can only imagine. Sounds like oodles of noodles. It, it, it was, and you can imagine the devastation uh, my five-year-old had when uh, the older uh, 
when my 10 year old's like, no, my dog's named Noodles. Yours dog, your dog can't be named Noodles. No, my mom's named Mom. <laughs> You're mm. not happening. Mm. Both of you, turn on the TV. All right. Can't so, name your mom, Mom. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so you you guys, uh, you're in front of a coffee shop. Yeah, you, you look up at the sign, and it has like a just a well, just a regular wooden sign on it. It says, "The Shanty Leg Coffee House." Nice. Oh. Do the stanky leg. <laughs> <laughs> Do the shanty leg. <laughs> Do the shanty leg. Yeah, so as you uh, kind of approach, it's like, Rory's like, yeah, th this is basically where th the real criminal activity kind of goes on around here, because though the pirates kind of run the scene, th th this is the, th th they wouldn't be caught dead in a, wouldn't be caught dead in a copy house. And he, he just goes through the door and you, you hear like the little ting ting of a, a bell at the door. Over at the uh, over at the counter, you see a a woman in her. You can't tell if it's like early thirties or late twenties, but she's just got kind of like a kind of a uh, kind of a brassy she's sandy mature. kind of hair. Yeah, she's got kind of like a like a brassy sandyish uh, kind of uh, color to her hair. Uh, yeah, kind of a pretty face, it's sh sharp features, and like a really like razor sharp uh, eyes like you know like she she's really good she seems like she like when she looks at you it's like like she's piercing right through you uh she doesn't look at me she looks through me yeah it's like like right into your soul <laughs> and then like a uh, my soul <laughs> i need that she <laughs> let she looks from you and then looks down to rory and an eyebrow uh, raises. Rory, welcome back. And she goes back to kind of like uh, cleaning up a, a mug. So you got away? Yeah, I did. Uh, w with the help of uh, my friend, Mr. Snyder here. Kind of just raise a hand and wave. <laughs> He's from the sky or some shit. <laughs> she kind of shrug and then just goes, it is, it is what it is. She kind of like looks at from you to him again. She's like, the Sky, huh? Well, I, I, I'll say I've heard crazier things. <clears throat> well, Mr. Snyder, care for a coffee? Sure, I, I, I don't think I've. I had coffee before. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and she kind of like uh, gestures to the menu. And, and, and you see a few things uh, uh, on their chalkboard. Just like some tea, various teas, coffee, like uh, l little milk blends of and whatnot. But what really seems to be kind of like highlighted is... Uh, a blonde, a dark roast, the Germa blend, and the house blend. Hmm. I want to try the Germa blend. Ah, I see. You must be a real a fan of those comics that they uh, put out a few years ago. Next. Oh yeah, uh, the, uh, the the Germa Kingdom put out all these these kind of superhero propaganda comics a few years ago. Uh, all, all the kids love them. Hmm. Rory, have you heard about this? Oh yeah, uh, Germa sixty six. My favorite is uh, is Red because like he's the leader and so cool and stuff, and they they all got like these little flying shoes and capes. And then they like they beat up the bad guys, like 
I, I only get like scrap ones every now and then, but I, I did manage to steal a good issue uh, one time where they were, were fighting like this giant uh, sea king. Hmm. That sounds very interesting. I'll have to. I'll have to check that out at some point. You'll have to show me. Oh yeah, for sure. And, like as far as you know, it's like okay. It seems like some kind of Sentai uh, type shit. Yeah, like Power Rangers. Yeah. Go go Power Ranger. It's so good. So. As uh, you're having this conversation, uh, you hear just like uh, the little blend of uh, beans being uh, all chopped up and just the little drizzle of coffee going into a cup, a little mixture of like uh, she's putting in some sugar, some cream, giving it like a little bit of a drizzle. And, and like she, as she's getting it set up, you, you see like her uh, take a contraption uh that's kind of like dangling down from the side and like put like what looks to you like a thin layer of clouds over the top before like dusting it with a little uh, uh, powder. What uh, is that you just put on top? Cinnamon sugar and whipped cream. Whip, whipped cream. Yeah. Hmm. Have have you never seen whipped cream before? I mean, I I don't believe so. But I mean, it looks very cloud like, and clouds are light and light and fluffy. And well, I don't know if exactly they taste good, but these t look like they taste good. <laughs> and I just kind of start rambling because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I I love it. I love it. So she just like, yep, uh, that'll be uh, nine hundred berry. Alrighty, that seems seems fair. I have a big good and a coffee now. <laughs> so uh, she she hands you this uh, this coffee and uh, the Germa uh, sixty six blend is kind of a like a it's like a double espresso shot. <laughs> added, oh, <laughs> added to all like this little fanciness. Just a highly caffeinated drink. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> so so how does how does Snyder react to this? Mm. He he takes he takes a small sip at first and he he kind of reels back at it being a bit too hot and kinda blows on it a bit and then takes another sip and Pulls away the cup with a with a little little mustache of whipped cream and is like, you know, this isn't that bad. You, you just remember, Mister Snyder, the that has a lot of caffeine in it. What's caffeine? Oh boy. <laughs> uh let's see I'm, I'm trying to think of how like they put it in medical jargon because you're like a doctor in junk but like basically caffeine is a stimulant i think and it makes you really hyper and energized yeah oh I I I see. Yeah. Well, seeing as I've already drank about half the cup, I feel like we're gonna be in for a time. <laughs> All right. And then he just kind of like, well, follow me, and he he goes around the back. And he kind of like leads through like a a. Like a little curtained off area, and you just kind of like a see a, a small a set of tables in the side room, and off to the side, uh, you kind of like see trails of like smoke leading from a corner. Hmm. And just a a man with a some like a lightly tinted glasses, kind of a thinning gray hair, and just kind of like a really 
kind of a rough, ragged face. Very strong, like, squared off features. Yeah. And even, like, a few kind of, like, uh, semblances of some tattoos kind of peeking out of, from under his uh, rolled up sleeves. And the, the man appears to be kind of, like, uh, you know, kind of casually dressed. Ah, Rory, Rory. How are you how are you doing, bud? Uh, I heard uh, from Iggy that you, know, you, you kind of got captured back there. You you didn't give up any secrets, did you? Because you, you know how that goes. N no, no. Uh, perfectly fine. I didn't speak a word. <laughs> Actually, I was saved by m my friend here. I was about to ask about that. Uh, who's your friend? And he gestures to you. Uh, this, I this is Mr. And then, like, uh, you just kind of, like, uh, get right into it, speaking over him. Is it, uh, hi, I, um, uh, my, my name's Snyder. Uh, I fell from the sky. And uh, I, I happened upon uh, Rory here in a bit of a predicament, and I, I thought I'd help. You, he kind of, like, raises, he cocks an eyebrow at you. He's like, you fell from the sky. Yeah, what of it? Huh. It's a little unusual. And he kind of like, uh, <laughs> like he kind of like looks over to Rory, like, uh, and like gives him like little little gestures, like this guy okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Rory's like, hey, no, no, he he's good, he's good. And then I uh, kind of walks up to the table. Well, Mr. Skyman, have a seat. And then he gestures to uh, the other side of the booth. And I take a seat yeah. as right across from him, and my my legs start shaking and I'm kind of just like tapping my legs. <laughs> ah, you got got yourself a coffee. Good way to start the day. Keeps the mind sharp. We don't like that kind of stuff that dulls the senses around here. So I can already tell you're my kind of guy. Let someone who's got got to be firing on all cylinders and get the job done. Good, good. Speaking of which, Rory, here's your cut. And he kind of like uh, gets up and walks over to uh, the little a side panel and like, Pushes aside a little painting and reaches in, uh, pulls out a little, little sack, and turns around, and tosses it on the table to Rory. Ah, uh, th thank you, sir. That's good. Good. Fuck, I had his name written down here for a moment, and I'm just like, oh, where'd I put it? What the fuck did I do? Names. The name game. Oh, there it is. There it is. Anyway. Yeah, I heard from Iggy and Bell there you had some trouble with the zoo pirates, so you took that liquor shipment. Must have really pissed them off to good. But you did a good job taking the fall while they got away. Man after my own heart. And then Rory just kind of like, thank you. Thank you, Captain Gordy. Oh, please. I ain't much of a captain anymore. By the way, Mr. Snyder, he puts out like a kind of a grubby uh, hand. Uh, real like a, and he's like, name's Gordy Hurst. Gesturing for a handshake. I, I reach my hand out and kind of grab a hold of it tight and shake it violently. Just like, hi, I'm my 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 name's Snyder. Yeah, I gathered that much. And it, it, it's a firm handshake, so it's like, okay, it, this is the handshake of like someone who's uh, you know, but the, they know how to fight. Like you can kind of gather that much. Like, right. This guy's been around a bit. Wise beyond his years. <laughs> well, he he, he looks up. Fists. He looks up there in years. 
<laughs> All right. Well, the, the boss from that last job eh, paid pretty well. So I'm looking to see if we can muster up some more work with him. What do you say, Rory? And then, like, uh, Rory just kind of, like, looks up to the you, Snyder. It's like, uh, I I'm kind of rolling with a new crew now. Well, what, what do you think, Snyder? I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know. And then he just kind of, like, looks over to uh, you, Snyder. He's like, okay, okay Snyder, well. Maybe we can uh, help each other out a little bit. What you got? What do you do? I understand you helped uh, young Rory out. And uh, Rory, you say you're rolling with a new crew. You try. The last job you picked up was to kind of help your crew out a little bit. So uh, maybe we get down to brass tacks. Like uh, Snyder, you're you're part of this crew too, right? Yes. Uh, would you say they might be good for causing some mayhem around town? Yes. <laughs> you hear from across the island. <laughs> I guess it just hears chaos and just goes, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't see why not. Chaos is pretty fun. <laughs> Oh, we're going to get along just fine, Mr. Snyder. Now, here's the thing. My client, he wants to have some stalls. and was, he, He's been harassing the stalls in town. Uh, here and there. A fire here, a broken leg to a stall there. You know, a little piddle-diddle shit. And then we were up in the ante with uh, stealing some stuff from the uh, zoo pirates and trying to pass it off and planting seeds to make them think that the Thai man have been up to something. So now it's time to piss off the Thai man pirates and make them think that the zoo are up to something. I'm listening. Didn't that hurt that? Yeah, that's pretty much our exact objective at this point in time. Yes. And incidentally, it coincides with the, the guy that he's working for. Hmm. Uh, tell me, Snyder. Clever. Tell me, Snyder. Um, our boss here is going to be doing pretty well for himself. We might be able to... You invested in uh, sticking around the area long term? Uh, define long term. Well, the local businesses are, well, some of them are getting ready to drop, drop acre somewhere else. They don't want to stick around when uh, these two factions get a fight in me. A lot of fallout can come from that. A lot of families tied up in a town from with both the Thai man and the zoo. They've been kind of at a stalemate for years. But we've managed to kind of tick off of one side, tick off the other a little bit. Kind of get them at each other. And once a lot of people leave town... Well, there's plenty of room for profit for all of us. And, quite frankly, it's going to be a lot to manage. Mm. Lots, lots of businesses are going to be kind of up for the taking. Now, I've been talking to Rory about this before. But if, if you're tight with Rory, you're, you're good with me. I don't exactly know about sticking around after everything is said and done, but I would... Oh, perfect, I would, you're expendable. I would... Then he claps his I hands would, together. I would believe that, that the, uh, 
the I glanced down at Rory that the that the crew could uh could assist in these endeavors. Ah. By the by, what are what's your Rory said that your crew has a bit of an interest in these uh, coinciding goals. What's the story there? You know, information's key in this business, in this line of work. We were just honestly trying to capitalize on the bounties and try and start a name for ourselves out on the seas. Ah, ah. That's a hefty goal. And as and being parallel aligned, I'd say there's room for everybody to make some money here. I don't suppose why not. All right. So here's the deal. The Time and pirates have been, well, let's just say, hold up for a while. They, they haven't been doing much these past few years. They've really... I'll, the older members are letting themselves go, and the newer members are just... They're, they're too green. They're too cocky. So what we need is someone to dress up as some of the zoo and stir up some trouble in their camp. You know, plant a bomb here and there, start a skirmish. Some real uh, guerrilla warfare, hit-and-run type stuff. It just so happens that we have procured some zoo man pirate uniforms. And he just kind of like, like, whoa. Just like, absolutely surprised on his face. You mean to tell me? You you guys have gotten yourself your hand, some hands on the, some of their uniforms? <laughs> How many are we talking? At least a good uh, rate. Oh. Oh, you, you guys. Oh, okay. You're the ones that knocked over the their little warehouse on the other side of the island. And I, I did what we were. Ah. Right, it looks like you guys are ahead of the game then. So, I got some boys that are willing to get in on this, uh, on this action here. I'd even be willing to take uh, some of those... Some of those uh, uniforms off your hands. Mm. Yeah, name, name a price. Mm. Tell you what, I'm willing to offer, and then he just uh, takes out like a, a little wad and kind of like fuddles through it a little bit. I'm gonna give you a hundred and fifty thousand berry for a half the crate. Now that's how. Enough for you to do your portion of a job. Enough for me to get some more people on my side. And just kind of like uh, puts the the stack of berry on the table. Hmm. I slowly reach for it and go, I... It sounds like a fair price to me. Well, would know that everything that we got from the store you know, we have guns, we have, you know, ammunition, we have all kinds of that we could have used. Mm. Or we could negotiate more. Yeah. So, like, so like, I imagine as they're taking this deal, they, they need to We got. It. This is true. I mean, we could him 
to the area and then kind of mention it there. If, like, say he walks in and sees the multitude of crates instead of just the uniforms. <laughs> They're the only thing kind of path that we're on. And he might as well meet the rest of them. Or at least, you know, me or Aki. I'm surprised you were yeah uh rory just kind of like looks at the, the stack of cash at his eyes wide it's like mr snyder i think that that's a that's a lot to throw around but should isn't this negotiation that should be left to the captain you know i, I don't know you do you do have a point I kind of pat him on the head and was like, you're a smart boy. Huh, thank you. And I, 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 uh, I placed the bag, the, the wad of berry on the, the table again and kind of pull my hand away. Let, let me go uh, discuss these Z captain and we can come back with uh, with a with a decide with a decision uh, p- perhaps uh perhaps Gordy, oh, if you if you want you could uh, come with us to uh, check on the goods and see the the quality and you know if there needs to be any tweaks or what may you hmm. you know what i that might not be such a bad idea I'd like to see what kind of crew young Rory's running with these days. And he just kind of like scoots over to the side of the booth, gets up, cracks his back a little bit. And uh, as he uh, kind of like leans back and uh, sh- kind of like shouts to a side door. Bell, Iggy, I'm going out for a while. By the way, Rory's okay. And then just kind of like you see the door uh, crack open. And, and this uh, young girl, like probably like either late teens, early 20s, just kind of like real skinny and like uh, light blonde hair. And just kind of like uh, dangling down from the side of her face. She's like, oh, Rory, you're okay. And th- then she just kind of like rushes over, just kind of like scoops him up in her arms. I was so worried. It's like, oh, I, kind of, I glanced at her and was like, "Who, who's this?" Oh, uh, hi, I, I'm Bell. Uh, Rory, who is this guy? He, he, he looks like a rooster. Oh, th- th- this is Mr. Snyder. And then just he's like, oh, and then she kind of like puts him down, like. Uh, hi, Snyder. No, I, I kind of like curtsy. And then she uh, turns to Gordy, like, "That uh, you're going out? Yeah, I'm gonna be going with. I'm going with these two back to meet with their captain to make some negotiations. You gather up some of the boys. Looks like we're gonna have some disguises for that job." If you could head on over and uh, let Talum know that we we got the goods to get the job going, now that'd also be good. And she's just kind of like uh, gives a nod and just a uh, right. No, I'm on it. And then she just uh, hustles out the little side door that she came through, you know, shutting it behind her. All right, shall we? And he gestures out the door, and y'all are kind of on your way back to the ship. Uh, meanwhile, uh, while they're on their way back to the ship, uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where, where are we? We're on the ship, right? Yeah, yeah. we're on the ship. The three of them. like, 
Yeah, we've been working on the ship mostly. Working on the ship. I would work on like I I would think that I would be working on like changing the cosmetics, and once I'm done with that, I would just then switch to like working on the actual ship as much as I could with the new supplies that we've gotten. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of that cosmetics was like uh, like what working on the sails and uh, other parts and paint. Actually, for the Maybe there's a like, we're not moving to Texas. This video just changed my mind. Okay, Sam, you sound so mumbly. Keep it with black light. It's just. I, I don't know what it is. And Freya, could you get out of my room, please? You have school tomorrow. I'm so following the baby. Oh, no. Okay, go. No. All of you to bed. How do you... Oh. Enough. I, I hear you. I can make your you. I don't get it. I wish I was there so I could like help you with your audio. Recently, I'm the audio guy, apparently. Yo, you move up here. Use my mic. Don't worry. My mic is like crazy. Hmm. Yeah, Plank. I, I I don't know. How do I hear anything? My headphones. My headphones need to move. How how I can hear my hear my. You don't, you don't need to just speak into it. <laughs> the, the one thing a DM couldn't prepare for. Audio issues. Um, New World DM problems. Is it muted? Oh, no. I heard, I just heard you. Okay, okay. Um, I want to... Yeah, I've been crafting and bladesmithing and stuff. Okay, cool, cool. Just kind of during the day. So, like, uh, after your uh, initial roll, you just... Everything is... It's coming together, but it's not quite the way you would have liked initially. Like a, and then I also want to be like going through the materials and stuff that we got in the mm -hmm. storehouse and making use of any of that, seeing what can be added to the ship. Yeah. So in your initial crafting, like a a, a big old crack, kind of... something that you'll have to work out of it. But it's going to take you more time than you would have wanted. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but in, in the meantime, well, so y'all have basically been crafting and getting things ready and fixing things up with the ship. Uh, Akisu, uh, what, uh, what is the captain doing in all of this? I hear you. Ah, yes. The infamous beaver hole. The beaver hole. <laughs> <laughs> like, like big, greasy 
you do that. So as you're just kind of like, I just imagine like you got like some rope kind of like a kind of like t tied to something uh, up top and you're just like off the side, just hammering in some boards. Me or scavenger, you know how to build stuff. Yeah. Actually, uh, make me a roll for that. I don't think she's got carpenter tool proficiency, so it's just gonna be like a roll. Okay. Oh, she does? Uh huh. Ah. Akisu, the alternate shipwright. So, uh, advantage or no? Uh, not advantage, but she will get a, a proficiency bonus. Oh, that's a nice... 21. Is that plus two? Fuck yeah. Yeah. So you're you're just kind of like off the side of the ship. You you got your hammer and nails and uh, all these boards. You managed to patch it up relatively quickly. And thanks to your massive size and strength, you were able to carry most of the materials with you right there the first time. So you're just like, bam. Bam, bam, just kind of like knocking it out real quick. You can't even, you couldn't even tell that there was a hole. Like you could tell that like maybe something was there at some point, but it's very well patched over. Oh man, I didn't imagine the wood. <laughs> if I roll, it would have been different. You're like, ugh, I, I should have matched the grain. Well, so far you've managed to be a, a very big help. Yeah, it's a pun. All right. <laughs> uh, looking at off to the side as you kind of like climb back onto the ship. Uh, you see Rory and Snyder and, and some older dude uh, kind of approaching the ship. I'm going to see him off in the distance and yeah. be like, hey, take him on hand. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Just rocking the ship. <laughs> yeah, like rushes to the side and just like. And as a, uh, they're kind of coming up. You you see the that Tonga and Rory. Uh, once they're on the uh, little, uh, the docking area, uh, they get right up to the ship, and the the guy next to him, like he gets at, as far as the dock, and like it, he proceeds to walk a little ways onto it, but then he just like. Uh, sees the water to the side and stops. I'm sorry, boys. I... You don't have to understand or even pretend to understand, but I can't go any further than right here. He kind of glance over and says, what's, what's going on? Well, son, I'm cursed. Oh, like, like I said, I'm not going to ask you to understand, but I'm going to need you to go get your captain and bring her here. How you know what's a herd? Bro, they can see you. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of on the side of the ship. I imagine he talked about... I imagine in the walk, Snyder told him who the captain Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, who's that? Who's that waving at you guys? Oh yeah, that's our captain. Which one? The big bitch. 
the literal giant woman. And then, that always makes me think Steven Universe. It's like, all I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. <laughs> That's not Alexandra, right? That's, uh, but like, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe it is Alexandre. I'm not sure. Or Garnet. I don't know. Like, I walk up to the ship and they, I look for us too. Oh, Moving on. Yeah, the one with him. Hmm. The gem fusions were always so interesting, but like you never got enough combination of fusions to really satisfy yourself as a fan of the show. Agreed. I wanted to see Peridot I wanted to see Peridot fuse with literally anybody. Literally anyone. Maybe short. I don't even care. Like I just needed to see it happen, and like the the entire fandom of Steven Universe is carried by the pure imagination of its fans and not the show itself. Okay. <laughs> Sounds it, interesting. The the fans come up with uh, cool fusions that will never be. The thing. Yeah. Well, after for hearing Akisu screaming, I would head up. To the you know deck of the ship see what's going on yeah and, and uh, as you come out you you, you see uh, akisu leaning over the side and like you kind of like lean over so you see rory uh snyder with a coffee and uh, a handful of uh pastries food? I, I hold the pastries up and i was like look what i got <laughs> 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 the wonders of the surface world. <laughs> the wonderful made goods of the blue sea. <laughs> Donnie got him addicted to bread. <laughs> Crippling bread addiction. First comes love, then comes gluten. Something, 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 something. Then comes. A diet that controls you like Putin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the guy that uh, they uh, showed up with, uh, he just seems to be a little further back. Uh, refusing to really go beyond a certain point of the docks because as soon as he sees like the water. And then he what just kind of like, like? He, he looks back and forth to it, just kind of a suspiciously uh, he's got thinning gray hair but like a still had like a full head of it and he's got a, a very squared off uh, face or like very strong jaw like little scars here and there and you you can kind of like see some tattoos peeking out from where his sleeves are rolled up uh, generally kind of like a kind of a rough casual outfit but you you can tell just by this guy's general appearance that he's business okay you just kind of like vault over the side and just kind of like land with a and like as you do the you hear kind of like the shudder of uh, the boards underneath you and then you just kind of walk on up to him. Ah, so you're... You must be the captain that Rory's told me about. Rory, I miss you. Who's this friend of yours? Uh, th this is... Well, Captain Gordy. I, well, I mean, he's not a captain anymore, but... And then, like, uh... He... Gordy just kind of, like, walks up to you. Uh... Just taking like a, a single step further and extends his hand, Gordy Hurst, and he kind of like has like a steel expression in his eyes. Steel expression. Yeah, like, like he's Let's give him a yeah. very firm handshake. 
and like uh, he returns the handshake it was like awkwardly because uh, almost like uh, when a child tries to shake an adult's hand but like a handshake, I'm gonna say I'm gonna kiss you, Blackburn. Have your Blackbeard pirates. <laughs> Blackbeard pirates. Blackburn. <laughs> don't even know the name. <laughs> <laughs> Just obviously turns around and like crawls over, like fuck, 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 fuck. The cover is blown. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right. So he, he looks you up and down. He's like, Nah, you certainly got the medal of a captain. I can tell. Right. So what are you doing over here? <clears throat> well, uh, after talking to Rory and Snyder here, I understand y'all have come into contact with, uh, uh, come into possession of some uniforms of the zoo pirates. And I'd like to purchase some, as well as offer you guys a job. If if you're in the spirit of stirring chaos. I love chaos. Mm. That's what I said. Pirates after my own heart. And then he... Uh, yeah. Oh, well, do you... You want to see the goods? Absolutely. Now, you yeah. come on to my ship, and we'll see them. I, uh, I would. Except, uh, I can't. You, you'll have to bring them here. Why? I can't board I'm afraid your ship. Of an old, I'm afraid of some you sea. These. I can't bring them out here. Are you crazy? Hmm. <laughs> yes. That is quite the. Uh... Hold on, hold on. And he just kind of uh, walks up uh, to uh, one of the ship workers. He's like, "You." And then he just kind of like reaches into uh, his wallet and pulls out about uh, sixty thousand berry or so. He's like, "I'm gonna pay you to fuck off for a couple hours, okay?" Get. I am. Who else is out here? Is it just uh, Snyder, Rory, this guy, and me? Yeah, I, I'm on the deck. Yeah, he, he, I'm look. I'm watching. Yeah, the the only other guy that was a uh, happened to be around working on working uh, some stuff and bringing things to and from the, some of the ships. He, he he already sent that guy on his way. It's like, hey, I'm paying you to fuck off. I'm gonna lean over to Snyder and be like, this fucking guy. <laughs> I kind of just chuckle a bit and it's like, yeah, but it seems to have a lot of money. Well, in this line of work, you have to. Is that turn on that? <laughs> All right. So you guys got uniforms. I'm willing to offer you guys a hundred and fifty thousand for about half the half of your stock. Mm. There's three. So how much you for that? Three hundred thousand. You need like four million. And this is fifty thousand. A hundred and fifty thousand. He's offering a hundred fifty thousand for half the yeah. uniforms. Yeah, and we also do have extra weapons and stuff. Yeah, are you interested in the weapons? Weapons? Uh, Snyder, you sly dog. We have all kinds of we have weapons, ammo. We have the disguise, the, the uniform. There's the submarine back in the where? I have my memories. I don't think I. Well, if the submarine's in the warehouse, that's already compromised. That's good looking back in there. Like, I already got word that you. Yeah, that not everyone's guys... gonna shit on their table. That was you. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I heard about that. We're, news travels fast. You just you, you 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 just said. Yeah, I said so. Word moves fast, like her bowels on a table. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got a girl with bowels on the table. Sleep on the couch. <laughs> all right, all right. So you got you guys got guns. Good, good. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. <laughs> I tried to haggle and no one heard me. You were not trying to hag. <laughs> <laughs> I said 300,000 and everyone started talking. I have to, I'm going to look at uh, how much guns actually go for in the, uh, in the one piece. No, that was, that was 300,000 for the uniform. The guns cost extra. <laughs> the guns cost extra. Uh, g give me a uh, a persuasion roll for your haggling. Persuade me. All right. Okay. Oh, I hear someone's got sirens going in the background. Jesus. Can I give advantage? Because I am... The merchant. I'm, I'm gonna say no because she's initiating these uh, th right. these negotiations herself. Because you rolled a two. You're not. <laughs> Looking at your character sheet, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm. Your charisma is an eleven. You have right. one zero. Mine's a sixteen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, let me talk to my advisor. <laughs> let me okay. talk to my financial advisor. <laughs> <laughs> he he raises an eyebrow and, and just like by all means. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alright, I'll be right back. You stay here. I, just having a little sidebar. <laughs> oh. What kind of merchant advice do you give her, Tonga? Yeah. I, well, I'll just come down. And no, I'll, talk. Bring you. I'll just come down and I'll talk to this guy. Uh, I like to imagine I just run up and grab him. <laughs> well, I was watching from like the balcony of the ship. You're listening. Out you listening? just reach up under his arms and be like, come on, buddy. You pick him up. And... Yeah, I would be like, so you need the uniforms. We got uniforms. We have weapons if you need weapons. Kids, what you doing pissing yeah. her off in here? Come on. A whole storehouse before they were able to clear it out. Oh, go. Even the information that we got from the party with the captains and the beaver man. So if you want to negotiate, let's talk. We all want the same thing. We all need the funds to do it. Hmm, yeah. I don't know. Yes. I mean, I can have a long ass day tomorrow. I hate how chaotic things get late at night. It's, it happens with kids. It does. All right. So, Ed, do you guys show him the goods? Oh, yeah. Let's we'll show him some of them. We'll show him. We'll show him the uniforms. We'll show him one crate of the uniforms, one crate of the guns, one crate of the ammo. That sounds good. I think. I believe we had everything. like what, three of each, something like that. No, like uh, just those uh, were just single crates individually. Like uh, you guys have a bunch of crates, but like a bunch of them just have different uh, okay. supplies. Yeah. 
Like, you have a crate of ammo, a crate of guns, and a crate of uh, uniforms. Okay. Let's show him that. All right. So, he, he just kind of, like, inspects the uh, crates. It's like, mm, mm, yeah, yeah. These uniforms will work. And let's see. I'd estimate that you got at least a good 30 uniforms in here. So, How big is your unit? How many people are you working with to get this done? I got at least a dozen, so... A few extras, just in case. About half of them would work, yeah. And that... I, uh, my offer was 150000 That'd be about 10000 per uniform. What do you say, Captain? Uh, what's every at? I'm just going to stand menacingly behind Tango. That's 300000 for the crate of Unum? Right? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, that it would be like 300000 for the whole crate. What about the guns and ammo? No, it is better. Uh, he he praises and kind of like looks it over. Uh, this whole crate of guns, mm. I, I'd give you about four mil for it. Wait, wait, hold on, really quick. Bef before he looks at the the guns and ammo and stuff, I want to kind of. Sneakily cast distort value and add. Uh, I can double the object's perceived value. Uh, against his investigation. Okay. Okay. So let that is a okay. new thing. I have. Boom! Okay. I'll pop it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, pop that in chat. A DC of 13. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I imagine we took what we wanted. Yeah, we grabbed, like, I have a pistol on my person. So, what we're showing them, we already, like, grabbed our shit that we wanted. Yeah, I just want to look yeah, at the this... uh, distort value itself, just because, like, uh, mm -hmm. needing to know what the, uh, components of it are okay. i believe this is yeah yeah oh let's see touch verbal okay so what's your verbal component for that so as i open the crate i'm just gonna be like mm. <laughs> i'm gonna kind of like i'm gonna glow a little bit to kind of add a little bit of ambiance and then like I'm going to lift the lid off I'm going to say get <laughs> huh. what would you say Sam gaze upon our wear ah that that's that's good that's good <laughs> And that really seems very fitting for using that ability. I thought so. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give you that one. So, like, uh... oh, he that that's a total of like seven. He fails outright. No. Nice. So doubles the perceived value by adding an illusionary flourish or reducing its perceived value by help. Okay. So I can make it look worse if I want. Okay, so... I'm going to make it look better. Looking at it, he's like, okay. All right. I, I was prepared to offer you about five mil, but like judging by the, the quality of some of these, make it eight. And throw in some ammo, too. Got yourself a deal. How much we talking? Let's see, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to offer 150, uh, 150k for the uniform for about 15 uniforms, 
And I'll take this crate off your hands, uh, plus a little extra ammo for eight mil. I look to the rest of them. Look to Aki soon. I'm just gonna nod. I'm gonna look to Snyder. I I kind of just like a, a big beat eating grin and just kind of nod. I'm gonna go ahead like, and roll a persuasion and just kind of agree. Yeah, and give him like a good merchant handshake. All right. So you do that, and uh, he's like, "Fine, okay." Have everything packaged up uh, right here in about two hours. I'll I'll send some of my boys to pick everything up. Gotta give him a nod. I'll, uh, yeah. I have Chibi here. Collect the money for. Him. I'll I'll send uh, the boys with a briefcase as well. I don't keep that much on me. Fair, you'd be a walking target at that point. Certainly. So he just kind of like uh, gives you all a nod. Well, I'm gonna be on my way. We have oh oh. Before I forget, before I forget, the the other business. Put your butt in bed. You see, my other client, someone who I believe you guys uh, share a similar goal with, uh, Talim. He, uh, his whole deal is he, he needs a bunch of people for a job. Now... He's uh, sold us a certain uh, deal for our portion of it, but I believe you're going to want to talk to him. Yeah, he's in town at the Spicy Brothers stall. All you'd have to do is uh, you go talk to him, and uh, you might be able to negotiate yourself a job not too far off from what we do. Okay, I'm just kind of give him a nod. We look at Snyder. Maybe we can check that out. Right. And alrighty. So when do we get to do chaos? So when do we get to do chaos? <laughs> Akisu's asking the real questions. If you don't want to get caught in a pin fit, carefully, careful chaos. Right. Yeah. Well orchestrated chaos. You let them cause the chaos. Mm. Yeah. But this is also chaos that pays, apparently. Absolutely. Let's ever get our ship. Complete. Chaos with a dollar coming at the end. We need to do this. <laughs> no, needed. Like, well, okay. So under, like, without se- letting him know, right? We need four million. We just got eight million and some change. Hell yeah. So you guys could literally just uh, fix the ship and <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> that ship's about to be badass. <laughs> <laughs> Pimp my fucking pirate ship. No, you know what? I'm fucking committed. <laughs> this sounds like it'd be a fun task. We're locking it in the vault. It's going towards the ship front. I'm ready to redeem myself. When it comes to negotiations, let me handle it. I shot on one table. I'm ready to shit on another. <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't do that. <laughs> Child, you do realize that Ow means something b- besides just uh, saying hello, right? Nope. I think no, I think they're saying how. <laughs> mm. All right. So, leading off from here, kids, go to bed. Oh, that's, that's not that's never good okay 
Well, I'm going to uh, say I have to cut things short just because of how the the kids are being tonight, and I need to get them in bed. Fair right. enough. Fair enough. But next time, uh, I'm drawing we'll, a Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll go from uh, where we are now. I'm I'm really sorry to cut everything short. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. you have a life. You have kids. It's, it's well. They got the whole eclipse thing tomorrow, and my wife is uh, heading the whole field trip. Ah. Uh. For the kids. Yeah, yeah. It's because she works for the school, so she has to do. She has to manage not just our kids, but she also has to bring them all on the field trip. At night. No, it's it's no. It's like yeah. <laughs> tomorrow yeah because yeah, we're like right in the line of it of the, the line of totality guys oh, so she's even like a she's even bringing the baby because they're like well, we don't care we just need we need everybody on deck for this for this because like the baby starts floating <laughs> the astrology <laughs> hoes are losing their mind would get them to you know say i could have the day off no of course, oh, it, it, it's some crazy shit. But uh, leaving off with all of uh, th this craziness, excellent negotiations, guys. Tonga, Yay. you could basically put in a, a word with uh, your people, <laughs> like anyway, probably after no. the uh, you guys have managed to procure like some bounty money. But you, you guys are actually doing a good job making money off of. <laughs> Everything that you've done so far. I'm so glad I remembered I had this store value. Oh my god. It, it, it's such a good spell. That fucking came in clutch. Absolutely. So, you guys, your next destination uh, when we uh, pick things back up is going to be at the Spicy Brothers stall looking for uh, Talum. Where are you listening? What? You see the guy? It, no, that, that, that is the boss of that guy. Oh, yeah, he's the person that uh is trying to cause chaos on the island, and he's looking to hire a crew, quote unquote, us. We're expendable. <laughs> I I did say that we weren't planning on staying, so. Yeah. So with that. I'm going to call it good for the night, and y'all have a great week. I love you. You too. Stay safe. Yeah.